Hello, I just watched a video by my friend Gershom. Um, he did this video where he's talking about functional pull-ups. Um, he said that he doesn't do any chin-ups because it's not functional because you never do this in real life. Instead, he does this grip on the roof where uh, he imitates what people actually do when they climb roof, right? That he actually grips the roof and pull himself up. He said that was functional. And he, in his video, he's arguing that he didn't, he, he, he stated that he never, never does any exercises that doesn't imitate what one would do in real life because otherwise it's not functional, it's not transferable into real life situation. Well, well I have a few problems with this idea. Uh, I have to disagree with you, Gershom. First of all, um, when you do an exercise, you have to think about the movement and the muscles train. Not that you have to imitate exactly what's going to what you're gonna do in real life. For example, the best example I give is the squat. Okay, so the squat as to grass squats is probably the best exercise to build the posterior chain, the uh, the quads, the hamstrings, everything that is good for sprinting. That's why sprinters do as to grass Olympic squats. Now, even when I've trained for my vertical leaps, I train the as to grass squats. And when my as to grass squats got stronger my jumps got higher and a lot of people that I used to talk to they had the same uh, idea as Gershom they think that they never go past parallel when they jump and if they don't go past parallel when they jump why should they squat to parallel and uh, I would have to disagree with this I mean there's maybe there's a place in your training where you do uh, your quote unquote functional exercise where you do exactly what you do in real life uh, squat to quarter as heavy as you can or do your you know your your pull-ups uh, like gripping your roof or whatever that 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 is good that is fine that has a place in your training but that doesn't mean that other exercises that you don't do in real life aren't transferable aren't functional in fact they might be even more functional because the as to squats train more muscles that are allow you to jump higher right and as to grass squats is also good to train athletes of any kind even though if your your sporting movement doesn't require squatting as to grass right um I'm gonna give an example for the mind, for the brain. A lot of people argue that, a lot of people like, you remember how like in middle school or elementary school you learn math, even high school, you're like, why do I learn this shit? I don't need to learn this shit because it's not gonna be functional, it's not gonna be transferred, it's not gonna transfer into any real life situation to learning like anything above calculus, for example, or even algebra. I'm not gonna need this, I'm gonna be a, uh, I don't know, a, uh, I'm gonna be a designer, whatever, right? But mathematics is a good way to train your brain. It might not be functional in the sense that you might not need to solve calculate calculus during your job when you graduate from college or middle school, but mathematics trains logic, it trains your brain. And a brain, a good brain with good logic, good um, uh, uh, mathematics think thinking skill is going to be a good brain for any type of job, you know what I'm saying? So there's a place for that, right? And mathematics in, in a child's development. That's why they, they're, they're never gonna uh, get rid of mathematics class no matter what, you know, or language, you know. It's basic components that shape your brain, right? Just like the pull-ups, chin-ups also. The chin-ups is a great way to train your lats. And once your lats get stronger, tell me what you, 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 you there's, there's so many things you can do that, that you can do in your life that requires a strong lat, right? In fact, if you only train your grip, if you only train your, if you only think that functional strength meaning functional, uh, training functionally meaning that you have to imitate exactly the motion you do in real life, you might not get a lot out of the exercise. You know what I'm saying? Just like when you do quarter squat, you might not get to train your, you might not get to activate your glutes and your hamstrings if you don't go deep, right? Now, how many pull-ups can you do when you when your grip is struggling and stuff? I mean, I if I'm gonna train for my grip and stuff like that, uh, or for my you know, for, for, for functional strength when I need to pull myself up, right? I What I would do is, I, I, maybe I'll still train the, 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 the whatever you're doing, Gershom, where you, you, you imitate in real life, where you, you, you're gripping on the roof really hard and really difficult, uh, uh, you have a really difficult grip and you train your grip at the same time you do a pull-ups. But I will also throw in some grip training, you know, with uh, whatever the thing machine is or just deadlifts or just holding it, grip training. And I'll train my last doing all kinds of shit, pull-ups, you know, even bent over rolls, everything, right? So, yeah, I think functional strength, being functional doesn't mean that you, you have to do exactly what you do in real life uh, at the gym, okay? Um. <laughs>